Cat 1 2, moderate to heavy precipitation, 12 o'clock, 2 zero miles, extends north 3 zero miles. Deviation 1 5 degrees left of course to Brute, proceed when able. A platform that effortlessly takes you to a beautiful world of its own, it's been quite a growth so far. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to see you here. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you all. If this is your first visit, we offer you the latest content particularly towards Microsoft Flight Simulator covering all the areas of the sim quite regularly. So hit that subscribe button for future releases. World Update 5 it was until last week. More and more to come towards us as the team have been on a busy schedule, meeting the communities and getting a sense of what to deliver over the weeks to come. With the Xbox release next month, there have been substantial progress adding all the elements towards the console version hoping to bring the same level of excitement it was under the PC version. As for the world updates are concerned, the next beautiful regions of the world would be addressed. Germany, Austria and Switzerland. Certainly gives us time to make flight plans ready on these regions of the world. We spoke about a few things last week that brought light to areas of flight dynamics, NavBlue, the air traffic control and more. Let's go over at what's new in development, the current trend at the marketplace, the winner of the giveaway event, the next excitement at the community section and a freebie at the end. You'll find out if you stick around till the end. The world updates are more of fixes on regional levels of the world. One might wonder onto if other regions of the world can be addressed. Countries like Africa, South America, major parts of Asia and many more needs to see enhancements and the commitment comes from the team which has been a positive one with their goal of reaching the entire globe by next year. This is such good news to see the inclusion of all the countries. With a good team behind world updates, the studios of Gaia have been playing a key role which should give us more expectations on a similar level in the upcoming updates. Partners can make a difference in the sim. It's hard to imagine a functional sim without the collaboration of a few as they've built their own process and areas of expertise bringing the best out of the team. Under the current list of bugs, the question about live weather still remains if this is a possibility to see a fix going in this year. We have Sim Update 5 coming next month, but the team really haven't decided to include this as one of their fixes rather a series of updates that include Sim Update 6 and 7 which should hopefully take care of the issue. The positive side about Sim Updates is that this would be periodic with a release every 2 months makes it more comfortable for the team who can address the core level of issues. The approach flyback bug has seen progress which should be fixed in the next Sim Update. The team of working title have found an issue which needs to be fixed being a complex one. This requires more research and when it comes to making changes, it isn't easy to track every single one of them as the changes are plenty. Some of the users have been experiencing crash to desktop issues from the last 6 months. The team have set this at the highest priority making sure to track on what causes this behavior. Any information the team can get can always be helpful and therefore this is ideal if you leave a feedback letting the team know if you experience this issue. The software development kit has seen some changes under project editors where asset definitions along with package creations have seen changes. Bugs have been fixed under the scenery editors during jetway reloading, the FX editors as well have seen fixes. A community of our own, a question to all of you would be towards World Update 5. Which was your favorite location? Do leave them in the comments below and we'd love to hear from you. A shout out to quite a few number of people here, the support has been constantly phenomenal. Flying Dutchman WA, Mike Brown, Dale Jones, Peter Fletcher, Gary Grossheim, Elliot Kazar, John Mills, Thomas Verholter, Tristian Schwartz, and Boston Yolt 041. I'm doing my best to pronounce all the names well. Do forgive me if I went here and there. 
quite a phenomenal audience again as well as the support. Before we go to the marketplace last week, we had a giveaway event in the video. One person will be picked amongst the list of comments in the video for last week's update and we didn't mention on what the winning prize would be I, a copy of the Durand AR1 from Real Physics. So here we go. A big congratulations to Henrik Togerson. Simply contact me through YouTube and we can work out the details. For everybody else, if you want to win, make sure to comment and one lucky winner will be picked next week. In regards to the marketplace, it appears that every week has been exciting. We had the DC-6 release, a beautifully produced aircraft from the studios of PMDG. A lot of progress from Aerosoft with the CRJ900 and the 1000 series. Every release doesn't really have to be a win from different studios. Look at the Embraer which has been quite a disappointment. Our team have tried this out and weren't really happy with the outcome. Let's keep our fingers crossed if we see any updates on that. Under the studios of Asopo, with the help of a new partner, the Yonker U-52 is under development, a transport aircraft that was in production between the 30s and the 50s, a famous German plane indeed which carries a lot of history. The team have great support on this and are planning to release this during August this year. Towards the studios of Just Flight, their Warrior 2 is in the making. A four-seater piston engine aircraft with a four-cylinder engine and a fixed pitch propeller. The team are excited about this bird and hoping to see its release soon. The team of Orbex have been busy with Cape Town being released. It's time to take a peek at the region of the Middle East. Dubai Landmarks is the planned release for tomorrow. Looks very well done with all the landmarks and all the imagery in place. Let's look at the numbers this week. 899 airports in total with 12 newly added last week. 167 aircraft so far which are either released or in development. 322 sceneries and 38 missions so far with a newly added mission last week. This week's focus at the community section are from the team of Aussie Group Flights team. They have decided to take charge over the skies of Iceland. That's the 25th of June. Mark your calendars folks. Iceland is an interesting region to visit. We hope you all got a chance to try out the Iceland mesh from Orbix. It's a free pack. We'll include the link in the description below. The team plans on departing from Eyjalistater, which is the B-I-G in short, towards Keflavik, which is the B-I-K-F in short. The link for this event can be found in the description below. More details can be found there that include the flight plan details, Discord server, settings and more. Now for the exciting part of the video, the freebies section, it's time to visit Austria, a freeware that's produced by Trilodotus Little KRG. This is the Linz Airport, a small international airport that's located in Horsching near Linz that is the largest city in Austria. A hub for large cargo operations, this airport serves passenger flights along with being a large airbase. A good amount of features with handcrafted terminals, hangars and other airport facilities. You can find static aircraft in the area, helipads, ground objects, comes with realistic night lighting and many more. Thanks to the developer again for this free add-on. This is version 2. We can expect more enhancements in the future. The link for this free add-on can be found in the description below. Thank you so much for staying with us so far. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button for the latest news related to flight simming. This would be your destination. Until next time, take care and happy flying folks.